So imagine that all that is like reality is not just, there's not just one thing. So um, just like you yourself, like you have your physical body, right? And then you've got your your soul, you know, your spiritual body. And there's some some belief systems are like your soul and your spirit are different. I I kind of use them interchangeably, but um, and then you have your um like your aura that you know kind of you know emanates you know from within you, outside of you. That's your auric body, and then you have like your energy field, which is actually different than your auric body. It kind of works together, but it's more like your electromagnetic field. Um, your physical body is putting that out, but that's also energy that people pick up on. And then let's say within yourself, you also have some kind of echoes or remnants of like past lives. You know, there's three, let's just say that. So there's all of those things kind of still kind of there somewhere in the periphery too. So just think that you as a human, you have multiple parts of yourself just in this reality, right? Um, and you're kind of like experiencing your you know, earth, your reality, and all of these almost like different levels, you know, um, with all of these bodies, um, that you're experiencing, um, you know, reality with. So as far as timelines go, it's kind of like the same concept that there's not just one, you know, you are not just a human being, right? You've got all these other parts to you. And with timelines, it's kind of like, um, if we think of, every single possibility that could ever happen ever in, in reality in the universe that um, even you, let's just say that you were um, walking um, down a hallway and there's other people and just at the corner of your eye, just something got your attention and you thought, I'm going to go turn left down this hall hallway here, you know, this intersect, you know, this juncture, I, for whatever reason I need to go, but I really was planning on going right and you go left and then you run into someone and, uh, you know, oh my gosh, you haven't seen them in like 30 years, you know, like whatever it is. Okay. So, um, even like a choice kind of point like that, could completely change your timeline or could you could move from one timeline where if you had gone right and then things went on, you would have never run, to, run into that person, but you went left. And so it just kind of went boop and it just like that reality just kind of like, you know, forked off of that. Um, and then sometimes um, if that is just a little part that was like, oh, that was interesting, but then you kind of move back into the energy, those timelines could even kind of like merge, like merge back together. Um, but it's really more about like the potentials of all the things that could happen, all the choices that we could make. Um, but then also because all of our energies all connected, like on this planet, and it's kind of like a network that we kind of go through things together as a planet too, <laughs> you know, um, like countries have their own astrological charts based on, you know, when they were established. So the U S has its own like birth chart, which is kind of cool, you know, so you can look at the things that the country's going through, but then we see it, how we experiencing that, you know, as individuals, like in our lives, because, you know, we're from here or whatever. So it's kind of mind blowing. And like, I know, like when I first started thinking about like multi the multiverse, multiple universes, multiple realities, mul you know, multiple dimensions and all this stuff, it was kind of like, well, you know, like, so that means everything is possible, you know, or like, what's the point of me like working really hard in this reality if there's all this other stuff going on already, you know, um, but, um, you, you know, you can read about quantum mechanics, quantum physics, um, which I am not a physicist at all, you know, but sometimes it helps to read some like, um, some articles that are kind of, you know, written more for like the general, you know, populace to kind of go like, oh, okay. So I could see that a particle could also be a wave and it just depends on how it's being observed. If it is actually like a particle or if it's just like a wave it's, and that's like the building blocks of our reality. So, um, Maybe that's, you know, like a deep dive, you know, a rabbit hole. You can kind of go down, um, you know, to see what really resonates with you. Um, but it is, it is, like I said, a infinite possibilities that we have um, to experience. And some of it has to do with our choices. Some of it has to do with just stuff that happens. And it just kind of like, you know, timelines kind of like split apart or new and kind of forms. Um, and 
Although it's really hard to wrap your head around this, I believe, I feel like in my head that I can say, yes, I think that's possible, that it's kind of like two of you or then, or a multiple of you, you know, are, you're moving down this one timeline and another version of you is moving down this other timeline, which I know seems kind of weird and scary because I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on in that other timeline. All I know is what's going on here, you know? But then that starts to go with kind of like where your attention lies, you know, where most of your energy is like focused and experiencing like this reality here. Um, but I've actually started, well, probably, I don't know, six months ago or something, I started doing some meditations and there are guided meditations on YouTube. I would definitely use some discernment, like maybe find ones that really feel right for you. But there are meditations where you can timeline jump which sounds really scary, um, but it's really cool. And so you can just be like, I'm going to jump. I'm just going to move to a higher vibrational timeline. And it's just like, I'm leaving all this crap behind. I'm just like, it just, just level up, you know? And it's really, really cool. And I've actually been doing that like for the last six months, just really, um, just not playing with it in a disrespectful way, you know, but just being like, what do I have to lose? I mean, why do I want to like hold myself back? You know? So pretty awesome. So